I've always looked at this place here and um, there was like a, a little fish shop in here before and then they, they had like just you just saw half of the space and you also didn't see how high the ceilings actually are uh, but when I got the plans I was like okay this is it without having really seen that potential we see now. I always wanted to have it here because it's of course it's special it's right right in the front of where the roastery is where, where we are now located for I think almost five years that's that's something special and that's ours we always had the dream to at some point go offline to to show people who we are I think it, it really completes the, the journey we've been through in the last 10 years and uh, I believe also people will get to know us a bit better of course because you cannot convey everything um, the way you can with a smile or with serving somebody a wonderful cup of coffee. We communicate a lot of content about coffee. Where is coffee coming from? We present the producer in our online shop. So the big challenge for us was as well, how do we take that, what we already have, and put it into the offline world now? So I really think with the cafe and how it turned out, we really managed to bring the values that we have for Coffee Circle to bring that into the space and make it also visible for the customers. So as soon as people come in, they should be welcomed by a barista, they should be guided through the menu. We don't want to have something that you don't understand, where you don't have the feeling that, you, that you're allowed to ask for why something is a certain way. We always want this to be like an exciting and explaining way, where you have the feeling you can even learn something. We tell the story of the coffee. So in fact, when I design a layout, I always want the customer that can read the story first. We call it coffee ID card, like it's like a person. So they, like this coffee have story and where they're from. You can order flat white latte, cappuccino in our cafe, but we tell you more. So you can choose which kind of coffee you want for your cappuccino. And you will know how much milk in your cappuccino. And you also know there's two kinds of espresso. They are different and their stories. So I would say that's the, the brand concept, like everything we design, like we try to convey something. So that's why our menu like have so many illustrations. And for the style, I would say the pink is the new black. <laughs> and the, yeah, we, we try to create a really comfortable, soft um, atmosphere, ambience in this space. So yeah, that's the main direction. My favorite moment during the whole process, I guess there were several nice moments and several very stressful moments. Um, but uh, one big relief was the installation or successful installation of the gallery. Uh, I think there were very, a lot of doubts on this um, from uh, different sides, but um, uh, you guys trusted me and uh, I think we created a very uh, unique, as I said, uh, element in the space. I do, uh, I do like the very raw character of the construction and I love the yellow color. I think what is nice about spending time on the gallery is that the ceiling height drops a lot and makes it more cozy and you have a very good view over the coffee shop. We have a lot of custom made objects and pieces of furniture in this space. Pretty much everything in this space is custom made. We got rid of the very classic coffee shop stereotypes, it's the same as walking into an old apartment of old friends where you can find small bits and pieces. It was one of the most um, amazing experiences we ever had. And it required a lot of um, planning on details and a lot of planning on menu and the concept. And it took um, some time, but the result is we are very happy. To me, the most exciting thing was having the two bar system. The main idea behind this is letting our customers come in and be able to find an immediate contact. We want them to feel good about asking their baristas any questions about the menu, about the concept, about the drinks that they would like to have. And the second bar is dedicated to the coffee preparation only so that our baristas can focus on fine-tuning their drinks and make it perfect.
also with our coffee menu we definitely want to show like how diverse coffee actually can be so of course we also serve the regular pour over drinks with our filter coffees and espresso based drinks but we also try to make people excited about our coffee with uh, special summer drinks for example what is also special about the place here is that we combined it so we have our cafe, our coffee shop, um, and we have a training center. And that training center should, on the one side, it should of course provide us the, the chance to train our baristas for the shop here, but also for uh, new shops we're going to open. Uh, it also gives us the chance to, to train all our employees, but it should also be a platform for, for um, amateur baristas, for people being interested in coffee, so they, they, can, um, they can have workshops here. And, and I think uh, that goes forward even that we do events with food pairing events. We have a great kitchen and we have that space and we want to actually invite people to come figure out what is coffee, figure out what they maybe wanted to learn, um, but also experience food uh, in combination with the coffee we have right now. So there's lots of ideas uh, of, of how that place could interact with, with the community around us. And uh, I believe yeah, we're going to see cool examples. From the very beginning on Coffee Circle has always been online so for us it's very rare or there are very rare occasions when we actually meet face to face with our customers. So this cafe now is the perfect op opportunity to finally get a face to the names that we see on Instagram or Facebook or in the emails that we receive from customers and you can really meet with the people and yeah be excited together with them. When we thought about opening our first shop of course this is like okay it must be extremely special and this is a, you know you have many 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 ideas and I mean we've been traveling the world and we've seen amazing coffee shops um, also here in Berlin there are great coffee shops but we also try to figure out where we can add something which we didn't see here in Berlin and I want to I want to have a proper environment which makes me feel welcome which is comfortable and, and this is somehow what we try to, to create here I feel crazy to be honest. I feel really, um, I would say, relieved. I feel very enthusiastic as well because I don't have the feeling that this is something that can be completed at some point. Because we are already thinking about like next steps. What can we do? What kind of events can we host here? How can we uh, present Coffee Circle maybe in a different way? Or how can, where will this also lead us in the whole coffee, coffee shop world now? It's a new Coffee Circle, but it's still Coffee Circle. Yeah. It's the first people coming in you don't know. <laughs> it's um, the first feedback you receive from people who have never visited your online shop, never heard of you. Um, and, it's the, and it's the hospitality which was missing in all we did so far. And that's a completely new aspect for us and I quite like it. Thank you.